Hey everybody, welcome back to Teotihuacan, City of the Gods. Let's keep building that city. Okay, so Jen has decided she wants to chase after Lumber. Although, while I was thinking about what she wanted to do, I totally missed something. Remember back in the main run-through, when Jen got herself this technology? There was one more thing that should have happened. Uh, when she locked this in, she should have moved up one on the blue worship track, which should have given her one resource at that time. So... At the time, what would she have gotten? I'm not quite sure, but I think she decided she was going to get some lumber because she's just starting to try to collect lumber like crazy. Because lumber, if you have it on hand, that means you can get these ceremonial masks, which are a big deal. It also means you can spend lumber over here to build housing for the people, which gets you in good on the Avenue of the Dead, which is a great source of points too. So anyway, totally forgot about that. Anyway, as always, that's why you watch with the Klingon subtitles turned on, folks. Remember, very important. Anyway, though, so Jen wants more lumber, more, more, more. So she could just take this guy and move him here. Hey, he's level three. He'd get one lumber. But she'd have to pick a cow to get in. That's not really great. She'd rather, like, get double or triple or quadruple lumber. So she's going to take a more long-term approach. Particularly because if she gets this technology, not only will she move up the green track, but every time she harvests, she'll get additional lumber or stone or gold. So Jen wants that technology, which means she should just move this guy over here. But then she has to pay one, two, three, four cacao to get in, one of them because of her own guy. So I think the first thing she's going to do is she's going to have this guy beat feet and get out. He can go one, two, or three. He'll go one, two, three, come over here to the palace. Now, the main thing you do at the palace is worship which are what these little uh, keys mean. When you worship, you get locked into position and you kind of give up that worker for a while until you pay cacao or time to get them back. Jen does not want to do that because she doesn't have much time before the next eclipse. So she's just coming here not to worship, but to harvest. She gets one, two, because there was one color. And remember, because of her other technology, she gets one more cacao. So she just got him out of the way. She just got three cacao. That was a pretty good turn. And now it is my turn. And I totally forgot what I... Oh, right. I was going to get another technology. So I'm going to have this guy just move one. And hey, I'm happy Jen just moved out because it just got cheaper for me to get in here. In fact... Oh, shoot. I should have... Yeah. Yeah, in fact... No, I can't. I only have two cacao. Is that right? I need more cacao. So, I need to go harvest some. Hey, you know what? I can just have this guy come over here. But I was keeping this guy here so that I'd only have to pay two gold when I move somebody into there. Because that's what I've got. I've got two gold. I want that technology. No, but I'm, I'm either using that, tech, that gold to get the technology or some more painting. All right. I think... I'm so low on cacao, I cannot move him in here to pay my two gold to get this low level, which is what I originally wanted to do. So instead, I, th instead, I think I'm going to paint, which means i got to get up there because I've got two gold, which is enough. So how am I going to do that? Well, I'm going to have to start walking around as well. I will have my level one guy go one, two, three, and join. I'll, I'll harvest as well because I'm low on cacao. Uh, I got one, two, three cacao of my own. So I'm back in the money, honey. And... Oh, whoops, I forgot. At the end of Jen's turn, of course, the Eclipse was getting one step closer. And now it's her turn again. And so now she'll move this guy in and um, she has to pay two cacao and one gold to get that tech, which means now she can start harvesting like crazy. And he levels up to two. The Eclipse is getting closer. It's my turn again. And now this guy just is going to move one. I have to pay one cacao because there was already somebody there. But now that I've got two guys, I can pay one less gold. So I'm only going to pay two gold instead of three. And I'm going to paint again. And look at this. <sighs> but my problem is I still don't have lumber. This is a double match. But that's right. I didn't want to go up on green because I didn't have the lumber to get this mask. So I'm much better off. Okay, forget about that one. Let's go for this blue red one. Can I get a nice double match off that? Yes, I can. Look at that. That's beautiful. Oh my gosh, look at that. So I get three, four, five points. One, two, three, four, five for a perfect match. And I go up on red, which gives me one point. And I go up on blue, which um, gets me a... I can spend a cacao to go up on any track. Or I can go... Or I don't have to spend a cacao and I can go up on the blue track. Let's just do that. Forget about it. I want to save my cacao. I'll leave that for Jen if she ever wants to get it. I'm going to grab this. This is my first discovery tile, and it says immediately go up on the blue track, which immediately gets me two more resources. Yeehaw! If I want to start building again, I'm just going to grab a couple stone. Okay, so that was a nice triple combo, and now I could, I could come over here and build once more with that stone I just collected. Nice. Uh, anyway, so I got a bunch of points. 
I got the reward. One of these two guys level ups. I'll just go on ahead and have him level up to a... No, I'll have him level up to a two. So I've got two twos. Keeping them low level is good as the eclipse comes because then you have to pay less cacao to maintain them. And I'm working my way up here. This is two points at the end of the game if I collect this for every discovery tile I've gotten. And I've just gotten my first discovery tile and I used it right away. Sometimes you use them. Sometimes you save them for later. All righty. So, uh, right, but that was pretty nice. And I was it. So it's Jen's turn again. Oh, this is so much going on to keep track of both Jen and me. Right, okay. Jen is now going to move over here. It costs her one cacao to get in. And it's a three, which means she gets one because uh, he's by himself. But it's actually two because of the technology she earned. So Jen now has three total lumber. Okay. And we eclipse getting closer. My turn again. Uh -huh. oh, oh, whoops. A new one of these should have come out. Oh, and by the way, mustn't forget, Jen's level three became a level four. Boom. My turn. Okay. I've got some. I, bef I I wouldn't. I'd love to build again before the eclipse gets here, and I can. Either one of those guys can reach over here, but I'd really want to have enough resources to build twice, since I've already got a guy there. But I don't. I only have two stone, which would only let me build once. If I have him come over here, I could get one lumber and then a second one, and then I'd have no. I I still need stone. Two stone and one lumber would let, let me. All right. So. There's no reason to have two guys there if I'm only going to build once. So, and plus, if I get this guy out, I don't have to pay Kitao to get in. So let's have him move out. Hey, uh, plus, you know what? I need some more stone eventually anyway. I'll have him go one, two. He will level up because he was a level three, which gave me one more stone. So now I've got three stone. And that was that. Jen's turn. Her other guy who's been waiting on the sidelines goes one, two, three. This is a big one. There were two colors here, so she has to pay two cacao. And well, one of these guys is leveling up to a five. But in the meantime, they're both fours. She's got um, two of them, right? Which uh, means she's on this column. So she gets two cacao and three plus one because of her special power. She gets four more lumber. Wow. All right. So Jen, one, two. I said she wants some lumber. Jen has definitely gotten some lumber. And let's see. Oh, it's two cacao as well. And one of these guys becomes a five. Very powerful. Okay, so now Jen's got all the lumber she needs. Will she have time to use it before the eclipse comes up? Because it's almost here. Ah! Oh, yeah. Like I, said, I was worried she wouldn't have enough time for this. Anyway, the eclipse is almost here. I got I to gotta get ready to build. So let's have one of these guys just go one, two, three. Hey, there's nobody here. I don't have to pay any cacao to get in. He's a single by himself, so I'm only going to build one. I'll use two stone and build one of these on the ground floor. I will build this one on the ground floor because, hey, it lets me go up the green track. I just don't want to go up the green track because I don't have the... I mean, I, well, one cacao isn't bad, but this mask, I keep not having lumber. Let's see, can I do better for points than that? I haven't looked. Or, oh, but I have to build here here because I'm only building on the ground floor. So that gives me two points. This gives me two points and a green. All right, I'll do it. All right, so I'll put it like this. And actually, I've yeah, I've got two... Matching symbols. Can I do any better? Uh, matching, matching. Nope, it's two no matter how you look at it. So I get two matching symbols. So that's building on one. That's three points. One, two, three. I built yet again. Oh, whoops, I forgot. I When I when I painted, that happened as well. So I'm up super high. All righty. And I matched the green, so I move up here. I don't have lumber, so I won't take this. Instead, I'll just take one cacao. Which is, eh, hang on, I'll, I'll take it. All right, so that was that. And I've got my, I got another build in before the eclipse was done. Nice. Okay, Jen's turn. And here's the problem. Her guys are so far away, it's going to take her two turns to get there. Ah! Shoot. Where's her other build? No, no, this guy. This guy will do it. He will go one, two. All right. So there's nobody here. She doesn't have to pay any cacao. Because he's um, by himself, though, he Jen has to build on the crappy street, which is worth fewer points. If she had two guys, she could build on better streets. But say la vie, Jen's going to build on the crappy street. She's going to build the first housing for the poor, which or the people, which gives her three points. One, two, three. And um, this guy's going to level up to a level three. And um, every time you do this, you go up on the Avenue of the Dead. If Jen can do that twice more, she can get start getting some mass there. And she's got plenty of lumber. Now, all of this costs two lumber. So that was Jen's um, turn. And again, we're getting one step closer to the Eclipse. 
Two more turns, or maybe less, depending on how things go. Hmm. Oh my gosh. Wow. And because here's the problem. When we get to the Eclipse, your level one workers cost one, two, one, or one, two or three level workers that are level one, two, or three cost one cacao. Fours and fives cost two. Jen's going to have to pay four cacao for these guys. That's a problem. That is a problem. A big, fat problem. All right. So she does that and she does that. All right. Well, we, she, okay. So she does have a plan. It's not a great plan. I am not happy about this plan. But all right. So anyway, back to me. Um, I don't have the resources to build again. I, I don't have my gold anymore. I need to start working on getting some more resources. I got plenty of cacao. So I just have this guy go one, two. I have to pay one cacao to get in here. And hey, because I've got two guys, although unfortunately my lower is a level two, two guys, that gives me two stone. So I can start building some more on the next way around. And again, one of them levels up. I'll have this guy go from a four to a five. All right, which could be good. Jen's turn. She needs to get her guys. Now, it's unfor there is a, there's a discovery tile you can get that lets you just instantly move your guy wherever you want. Jen would totally love to do that, to get them over there, to keep on building. But it's so far to go. Oh, she could do that. But she's going to... All right, so she'll have to go one, two... She'll just come here. Does she want technology? She has one gold. She does. So she'll come one, two. She has to pay two cacao because there's already two guys here. And she'll pay her last gold to get another technology, which, uh, well, it's the only one gold, so she'll do that one. Oh! Oh! Ugh! All right, so she's gotten this technology as well. And here's the thing. I just did that totally backwards because if Jen had done this and then built over here, she would have gotten three more points. That would have been so much smarter. So if uh, Jen had done this first, she would have had to pay one more cacao to get in here because she already had a guy, but she'd have this technology. No, I'm not going to do it. I'll just live with it. That was dumb. All right. So, so that's three points she threw away because she did things out of order. Ouch. Okay. But now here's an interesting thing that happens. Oh my gosh. All this stuff happens. So um, at the end of Jen's turn, this guy levels up. He ascends. And what that means is um, he is out of the game effectively, and he's replaced with a new level one. So now Jen has to pay less cacao. He was going to have to pay double, but now she pays a single. She's, uh, he's ascended. He's over there now, which means he's skipped where he needs to go. Oh, in my panic, folks, I am not thinking this through very well at all. Oh, dear. But, um, but the, their big reward for ascension is Jen can take any of these rewards. She could get five cacao, five points, move up on a, tr a worship track, get a, her fourth worker and two cacao, or if she spends three cacao, she can move up on two tracks. <sighs> Jen needs the cacao. She's just going to take five more. Okay. So that's the reward she got, which is a big deal. And now she doesn't have to pay as much cacao for him. And because he has just reached, remember, whenever Jen reaches here, whenever it reaches, Jen gets a free cacao. So Jen got a cacao for him making it all the way back over there. But she missed out on her shot because here's the thing. Whenever anybody ascends, the eclipse meter moves up by one. It is now the end of Jen's turn. The eclipse meter moves up again. It is the end of the round. And so it is time for the eclipse. Arr! Okay, well, we got to pay. Um, Jen has a level one, a level three, and a level four. Uh, the level four requires two, so that means Jen needs to spend five cacao. For every cacao she couldn't spend, she'd lose three points. Me, I've got a level two and a level five, and a, so I need to spend four cacao. All my cacao is gone, but I don't lose any points. All right, so that's that. Next up, Avenue of the Dead. Jen has moved up only one space. She was hoping to move up at least twice. Oh, I totally botched this, folks. She moved up one space. So you, the number of spaces you moved up times the current value of the housing market means Jen just gets five points. Two, three, four, five. Ouch, that was not great. But me, I don't get anything because I haven't gone up on there at all. But now we do the pyramid. Jen, never decorated, never built, so she gets nothing. I get, in this first eclipse, four points for every space. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's 24 points. Two, three, four, um, 39, 49. And because I did the most, I get four more points. One, two, three, four. And now this resets. The uh, Avenue of the Dead doesn't reset. Oh, man. So, I mean, so I did much better in points in this first eclipse. 54 points to nine points. But Jen has three technologies which will hopefully help her out going forward. And she does not lose her track, her, her space on the track of the dead. I need to start climbing all the way up here again. But hey, 
I got a lot of points, so I'm not complaining too much about that. So anyway, that was the end of Jen's turn, and that was the end of the first eclipse, which means this resets, the next eclipse will come quicker, and the dummy players have to move. So for let's for the red, we draw, and let's see, the first two we get are red goes to 3, 7, and 8. So red goes to 7, um, let's see, 3, and 8. So we're going to mix things up. Where's number three? Number three. And black, we draw two more for him. And he's going to go three, five, and one. Three, five, and one. In, uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. One, three, and five. Okay. So the landscape has changed. We're starting again. It is my turn. We have less time to the next eclipse. And I have just really made huge points and I've climbed up higher on these. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I'm not playing well by Jen. It's because I changed strategy halfway through. Um, you know, although you know, there's no getting around that. That's going to happen. But all that gold or I'm sorry, all that food Jen had at the beginning, I just converted into resources. I would have been better off taking resources. I think right from the get-go, I put Jen in a bad, bad situation. Um, so we'll see how things continue. On the flip side, Jen's got all the cacao in the world. I've got nothing. No cacao at all means I'm really limited in what I could do. I need to start rebuilding. Um, let's see. And let's see. I'd like to paint some more. I'd like to build some more. I've got stone, so I'd like to come back around here. I could go on ahead and build. This guy could just come out and go one, two, three. No, he can't because I have no cacao. I need cacao. So I just need to do some harvesting. So probably... I'll have um, that my, one of my eyes go here. Not, although, no, all of these, no. All right, so I'm going to come over here. I could come over here. Yeah, I'll come there. One, two, three, and there are two colors here, so I'm just getting three cacao. Okay, so that was my turn. It is Jen's turn again. She's got all the cacao in the world. She would like to keep on building. Although, now this guy's so far away, these guys have to walk all the way around again. Does Jen want another technology? That's interesting. And here's an interesting thing as well. Nope. Okay. Sometimes there's a, a you know a worshiping thing you can do there that gives you lots of points for having high technologies or lots of technologies. Jen has all these technologies, right? So Jen wants to keep um, getting technologies. If she'd gotten this one first, she would have gotten three points for the other technologies. Oh my gosh! I've done everything so poorly. Um, Jen was playing a much more complex game than me. I'm just trying to build. Jen's trying to get synergies, and I'm failing. Uh, let's see. So what does Jen want to do? She wants to keep getting all that lumber. So, but unfortunately, her guys are so far away to travel. She'll just have this guy go, one, she doesn't have anything to build, two, and there's so many people here, she'd have to pay a lot to get in here. She's just going to come over here, but she has no gold. That's a problem. What's she going to do? She needs to get all the way over there. I mean, she has to pit stop here, here, or here and do nothing. I guess she'll pit stop here. One, two, three, and harvest, and she'll, although... Although there's something else. There's one thing you haven't seen yet. I've talked about harvesting, but I haven't, I, you know, but I haven't, um, or not harvesting, uh, worshiping. I haven't done it yet. I think Jen will, maybe it's time to worship. Would it be? Would it be? Yeah, because she could do that. She could do that. She could do that. Yeah, Jen's going to worship. This little guy is going to go one, two, three. And now, up to now, you've always seen me come in here. He could come in here and harvest. That would be great. He'd get some resources and all that. Or, uh, you know, or he could actually do the core action and spend some money. And, hey, we'd get some. Uh, but he's going to do the third thing. He is going to worship. Now, that means he's locked up. And when you worship, you can do this action or this action. Or if you pay a cacao, you could do both. She has a cacao. She's going to do both of these actions. These actions are spend one lumber to get a ceremony mask. She's got her first mask. She's starting her set collection a little late. And she's also going to do the red, which means she moves forward one here. She gets one point there. All right. Okay. So that's it. Now this guy is locked up. He cannot be used until one of two things happen. Jen spends an entire turn unlocking all of her worshipers, or anytime she wants, she can spend three cacao to unlock all of her worshipers. But it doesn't make sense to do either of those until all her guys are locked up so she can be at peak efficiency. So now Jen wants to start looking for other worshiping options. But anyway, in the meantime, a new uh, oh, it's another mask. And it's another unique mask. You need a unique mask. Jen would like to get this mask. And now here's the interesting thing. Jen's got to get her guy out of here before she can move somebody else in. If I wanted this mask, I could worship here and pay a cacao to bump her out. And then suddenly Jen would be able, you know, and be able to... But Jen cannot bump herself. 
So she wants to, she could spend three cacao to get him out so that somebody else can move in to get that next mask and Jen could start because the points for unique masks, it, it gets pretty high, pretty quick. But anyway, so Jen has just worshiped. And so we've had uh, another eclipse. It is now my turn again. And right, I've gotten some cacao and I wouldn't mind getting some, all right, and I've got all the resources I need to start building. So let's go on ahead and have my big guy go one, two, three. And I'm gonna have to pay one cacao to get in here because there's a color here. And I'm gonna build, I'm gonna spend two and build for the last time on the ground floor. Oops, a new thing should have come out. Oh, by the way, I already built once, didn't I? No, I didn't. All right, so I'm building once. Uh, so this is my first time building. I have to build on the ground floor. It's over here. The best I can do is this thing, which gives me two points plus the one. So that has three points. One, two, three. And, um, right. So that has moved me up on the track. This guy is leveled up. Hey, he's a six, which means he turns into a one. He ascends. And the eclipse is coming quicker. So what is the reward I'm going to take? For, and from now on, we can only build on the second floor. What reward do I want for the eclipse? I would like some cacao too, because I'm really low. Yeah, so I'm just going to take five cacao because I need it so bad. Okay, cool. So it is Jen's turn. And, hmm, let's see. So this guy's locked up. She wants to get her other guys locked up now, but she, if she comes up here, she wants to lock up with high-level guys. That wouldn't be bad. But she'd like to get this guy over here so that the two can work together to give her more points. But he's so far away. I think... Okay, I know what he's going to do. Jen's going to go one, two, three. Jen is going to worship again. She is again going to spend a cacao to do both actions. One is moving up on the green track, which gets her one cacao back. Not a problem. And the other one is... Nope. Nope, she's not going to spend a cacao. Because the other one is she would have to spend a gold right now to get four cacao. So she can't do that. She's only coming up here. She's locked in. That's gotten her on the green. Because once she goes up one more time, she's got the lumber to get her second mask. So she's locked her second guy. And when they worship, they don't level up. So the eclipse is getting closer. It's my turn again. I have no resources I would like to build. And so this guy will just come down here. I have to pay one cacao to get in. And wait, no, 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 no. I need to get him all the way over here. <sighs> Drat. Uh, um, if I do, I could get... I mean, so I need to get some more stone. Hmm. What to do? What to do? Also, I mean, I want to start working... Up, I want to keep on working up here so I can get that. But Which means I want more discovery tiles. A great way to get discovery tiles is to worship, like what Jen just did. If, I'm, if my long-term goal is to get this, I need discovery tiles up the yin-yang. And I don't get discovery tiles for building. I get discovery tiles for worshiping or doing, um, you know, or you know, working my way up here. Um, let's see here. I have no gold, so I can't do any more. I could just start harvesting gold, so I could get. I've never gotten any technologies, and I'm doing great even without any technologies. Hmm. Let's see. Uh, oh, and by the way, did Jen get her cacao that she was supposed to get when, because? One of her guys, when he did ascend, he ended up back here. She should have gotten a cacao for that. I don't think I did that. So Jen should have one more cacao for having gotten here. So Jen hasn't making a lot of points, but she's got a lot of ways to, to keep being able to move and not be limited like I am. What am I going to do? Um, I would like... You know, I could worship. I could just come here. One, two. And I've got the cacao now. I could pay one cacao to do both of these. One of these lets me go up blue, which gives me two resources, which would be, I don't know, say two lumber that I need because I need lumber now to start building on the second floor. And hey, uh, since I pay the cacao to do both, I get to go up one on the red, which gets me another point. So that's not bad. And this is my second because I'm trying to get a lot of these uh, tiles. Right. And so that means another discovery tile comes out over here. But now I've got a locked guy. Oh, excuse me. And it's Jen's turn. And right. So this guy uh, right, the, uh, the eclipse is coming pretty quick. Where's Jen going to go? There, yeah, Jen's going to get some more cacao. One, two, three. People who are worshiping don't count as being in the area. So there are only three colors here. Jen gets four cacao. Because she doesn't want to send a single guy here just to get one point. So she'll take four more cacao. So she's just loaded with cacao. All right. And the eclipse is getting closer. My turn. Now that I've locked one guy in, I want to get all my guys. Oh, wait a minute. What did I just do? Oh, I totally cheated. Because this guy is worshiping. She can't do that. I can't do that at all. I'm really starting to lose it, folks. So let's uh, get that. 
three or that four cacao back. Right. Okay. He's locked. Can't do that. No, he's not. All right. They're both locked. So this is the only person who can do anything. And with that in mind, she is going to have him come over here and she's going to get this level three locked. It would be better to get a level four locked because the higher level you are, the more powerful. But Jen's going to come here. It's her max minus one. So he's uh, three, which means it's two. Jen's going to spend two cacao to go up two on, a, on these tracks. She'll go up one here to get her third mask, her second mask, which costs her a lumber. And she could go up again to get more cacao or points or a resource of her choosing. She'll just go up here. She'll just keep on trying. Is there another mask up here? No, there's not a mask. Where are there more masks? Jen wants to get more masks. All right, there are no more masks here. Wow. But what does she want to get closer to? Going up. Well, this is 15 points at the end of the game. Oh, she wants to go up here. She wants to get this point for her mask. So she will go up here, which gets her two points. All right. So uh, she did that by doing this. And now all her guys are locked. Okay. And the eclipse comes. Okay. Although I think I already did that. Oh, uh, folks, watch with the Klingon subtitles turned on. This is just trying to give you an idea. Uh, my, my head is exploded now with all the options I got to consider here. Right, so all of Jen's guys are locked up now. Mine are not. I've still got multiple guys. I've got lumber. I need stone if I want to build again. So, where are my dudes? There's my yellow. All right, they're all the way over here. They can't get to stone anytime soon. Ouch. All right, so this guy will just go one. Do I want? No, I have no gold either, so I can't come over here to get technology. I can't come over here to build. Yes, I can. No, I can't. I need one more stone if I want to build. Is there a way I can get stone from where I am? Um, if I could go up on the blue track, is there a way I could go up on the blue track from where I am? I'm not sure. All right, I'll just, I'll just, I'll just take the long way around. I'll just go one, two, three, and harvest two cacao. All right, Jen's turn. So now she has to spend an entire turn to unlock all of her guys, and that's painful. Instead, she could just pay three cacao, unlock all of her guys, and then still take her turn. So that's what she's going to do. So all of her guys are free now. She's down to one cacao. That's painful. But this guy is going to come over here, and uh, Jen is going to spend two lumber to build her second house. And since he's, um, oh, but he's here by himself. So she's still building on the crappy road, which only gives her two points, one, two, but she gets one step closer to getting another unique mask. And she still has the lumber she needs. So she just goes up one more. She can get that, her third mask. And three masks are worth six points. So that'll be 12 points she can get because he has two more eclipses coming. And in the meantime, he levels up to a five which means he's in a very good position to come over here and get to scream up tracks four times. Plus, he's about to go around again. Oh, 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 and don't forget, Jen just went to space number six, so Jen gets three bonus points. One, two, three. Building houses and doing technology, that's what she's all about, to score those bonus points and go up this track um, to get more masks because there's... Oh, no, she already has that mask. And, um, but still, this will get, let her go up higher. Oh, she's got a lot of options. But anyway, so that was Jen's turn. There's two houses. But here's the interesting thing. The more houses get built, the lower the value of going up the Avenue of the Dead. Now, Jen, at the end of the next eclipse, will, if it was right now, she'd have two times four. She would get eight points, which is not that great. Although, I mean, I'm not building much so far anyway, so I'm not looking at getting very many points either. Uh, and, you know, and plus, Jen's got, don't forget, she's got two masks now, so she's working on that also. So anyway, so that's it. And now that Jen's got a five, she'd want to move him over here, worship, and get the most powerful version of any of those. But she wants some more cacao before she does. So she's going to have to get some more cacao. And but anyway, it's my turn. And um, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Folks, you know what? I think I've gone off the rails. But we're about halfway through the second one. Jen wants to get some more lumber, get another house built here if she can. Get at least, because then she'd get her third so she needs to come down here and get more lumber. So this guy coming over here would be, would make sense because then she could get a big lumber haul and then she could build one more time, make it up here, get another mask. She'll have three masks going into the eclipse and um, she'll be getting more points off the track. Me, I've got cacao now, but I still haven't built. All my guys are in the wrong place for what do I want to do and what am I going to do? I don't know because we're only a third of the way into the game. But T.O.T. Huacan, oh my gosh, it just keeps expanding and growing. And if you want to hear some final thoughts now, 
You can hit that eye in the top right corner screen or follow the show notes in five, four, three, two, one.